That's a telephone alarm reporting a uh, house fire. 87 Bernard Street between Thomas Street and Castor Park. For engine 16, engine 17. Quit mid 7 Battalion 2, rescue 11. Truck 10 is the red car 99. That's a report of a house fire with several calls. Report of the possibility of somebody still inside 87 Bernard Street between Thomas and Castor Park. Now for the deputy and the protective. That old alarm was sounding, and he knew he had to go. But all he could think about were his little girls at home. He signed on to this job, yet to help the ones in need. But every time he ran into that fire, he knew he might not leave. He doesn't want any money for the things he trained to do. He wants to help the ones in need. He wants to see the whole job through. He's well aware of the cost that it takes to save a life. But that doesn't matter to the man he is inside. Yeah, we all need to sing that firefighter song. And that man pulled up on scene. All he heard was those kids screaming. He ran right through the front door to save a few young dreams. A few moments later, well, that house it had collapsed. He'd never go back home again to hang out with his kids. He didn't want any money for the things he trained to do. He helped the ones in need and he saw the whole job through. Well aware of the cost that it takes to save. services. <clears throat> Father Murphy will now conduct the invocation. Those in uniform remain covered. Bow your heads. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather today to honor the memory of those people who have served in the fire department in Sayreville, who passed away during this last year. Let us be filled with their memories, with times and kindness. Let us be filled with an example of their service. Let us honor their memories. We pray for their repose. We pray for the comfort of the family they leave behind. We pray for the example they have left our neighborhoods, that we may grow always closer to you in service to one another. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Judy Gary will now sing our national anthem. Fire department, hand salute. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight were the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Pete Martin, President of the Serval Fire Department Association, will recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of our country. Please join with him. Fire Department, hand salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice, justice for all. For all. Order Once again, I want to welcome you here this morning. For those of you who have been attending these services year after year, you know the importance of this ceremony. Every single day, brave men and women leave their families, they leave their homes to support and to help and to save, for the most part, people they don't even know. They are good stewards. They are brave, they are courageous, they have strength. They are, we can never repay them fully for their sacrifices. Our prayers are with their families, many of whom honor us for their presence today. We remember them as moms and dads, siblings and spouses, friends and neighbors. Today, we remember them and salute them as the heroes that they are. Thank you, God bless America, and God bless you all. Thank you very much. Now call upon Elder Statesman, John Wyszynewski. Good morning, everyone. First, let me thank the Cerebral Fire Department for pausing on this day to remember the lives of those firefighters uh, who served in your midst, uh, some recently, some many years ago. And as the mayor correctly said, men who ran into burning buildings when the rest of us with good sense ran out. Uh, but it is an important part of our community that we have these volunteers who protect us and make us safe every day. Uh, I've had the privilege of representing this community in the legislature for 22 years and coming to this uh, ceremony. Uh, today it has particular meaning for me is my late father is one of the six individuals being recognized today. And as I had said, these firefighters all served our community, some more recently, some more distantly, but they gave to the community without asking for a thing back. And it's appropriate and fitting that today we pause and say thank you for their service and their memory and hope that we continue to have generations of firefighters who follow in their footsteps and follow their lead so that we stay safe in the future. Thank you all very much. At this time, we will place the flowers. Each company will place their basket of flowers on a monument as a red rose is placed on a respective company plaque. Several Exempts Association.
Morgan Hose and Chemical Company. Company number one. Melrose House Company number one. South River Fire Department. call upon the families to place the memorial papers. As the fallen firefighter's name is called, his family will be escorted by a representative from his fire company. Fred Case Jr., Morgan Housing Chemical. Matthew Winston, engine company number one. George Bailey, engine company number one.
Felix Wisniewski, Melrose House Company number one. Joseph Lockwood, Morgan Hose and Chemical. Douglas Carley, Morgan Hose and Chemical. We will now conduct the final roll call. Fred Case Jr. Fred Case Jr. Matthew Winston. Matthew Winston. George Bailey. George Bailey. Felix Wisniewski. Felix Wisniewski. Joseph Lockwood. Joseph Lockwood. Douglas Carlin. Douglas Carlin. You have noticed that there is no response because they have answered their final alarm. Tolling of the fire bill will now be conducted in a tradition we call the fives. The bell will be rung in four cycles of five rings as a way of making notification of the death of a firefighter. This will be followed by the final alarm whistle, at which time the department will come to attention and render a hand salute.
The American Legion Honor Guard will now render a final salute to our firefighters, followed by the playing of taps. Be prepared for a volley of shots. American Legion Color Guard, salute our fallen firefighters. Fire department, hand salute. What are <laughs> When the last alarm has sounded and a roll call is complete, no more to ride the engines, no more to face the heat. The freezing winter breezes and a boiling summer sun are all far behind you. Your fireman's work is done. The loved ones that you leave behind will keep you in their heart. They'll always keep you close to them, although you are apart. Brother, while you're up there, please save me a seat, away from all the smoke and flame, a place where we can meet. No more to ride the engines, no more to face the heat, when the last alarm has sounded and a roll call is complete. Judy, seeing God bless America, please join in with her. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with thy light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with Murphy. <coughs> Almighty God, we have honored the memory of the fire department members who passed away this year. We treasure their love in our hearts, but we also treasure their example. Let us be strengthened by their example and go forth from this place to serve you and our brothers and sisters. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may God always bless America. This concludes our Memorial Day services. I would like to thank all of you for attending, especially Father Murphy, Judy Gary, South River Fire Department, the American Legion Honor Guard, our police department, our borough officials, the many family, friends, and guests, but especially you, the members of the Cerebral Fire Department, for your participation here this morning 
and for what you do each and every day of the year in protecting the residents of our community. God bless you and stay safe.